and welcome to a brand new week of ASFN Fishing. Remember that it's not too late to enter for the Dawa Grand Elite competition. To do that, simply send your video to Grand Elite at ASFN.co.za and then remember to ask everyone you know to like your video so that you can walk away with that beautiful Dawa Grand Elite. Also remember the tournament competition is still running and that's up until the end of December. So if you've got a shark on a Dawa Grand Elite or a Dawa product, be sure to send those catches in to tournament at asfn.co.za But in the meantime, also be sure to send your weekly catches to grindelead at asfn.co.za But without further ado, let's get right into this week's ASFN Newsflash. This week's first catches we got from a very proud angling wife. And this is Christelle Miller who sent in her husband's catches, Lance Miller. The first one was a white sand brass of 8.2 kilograms that he caught at Kinstar in the Eastern Cape. The second catch was a 4.5 kilogram cob. This was at Kiwani in the Eastern Cape. Cristal and Lance both belong to the East London Angling Club. Thank you very much for these catches and Cristal, we're looking forward to your catches coming in. Then Avishka caught his first cob and what a cob at that, a 14 kilogram cob. This was caught on Octopus Leg. Congratulations on this magnificent catch. Then Mojo caught this two kilogram cob. Kavilan caught this two kilogram copper bream at Umka Mars and this was on Ghost Crab. Then Terry got stuck onto 7 kilogram Garrick and this was on Love Blacktail. This 3 kilogram stump nose was caught by Malcolm at Umka Mars. Then Clinton Moodley caught its 5.5 kilogram kingfish and this was on Octopus Leg. He also caught this copper bream and this gully shark at Port Edward and this was on Pink Prawn. And to finish it all off, he caught his first hull yun on Ghost Crab and this fish was safely released. Then a special catch from an 80 year old young angler, Quinky Fred. He caught this bronze bream of 45 centimeters using his Salters 14 for 6, his Seagate 4500E and this was caught on prawn. Then Mr. Queasy, whose name has still not surfaced, please include your name in the mail, caught two lesser sand sharks. This was on his Salters 8000 and a Dawa J braid 50 pounds. The first one was caught on a mackerel bait and the second one on a double chocker head bait. Then Ashley Fishing and Steve's Beach on drone caught this beautiful grey shark of 152 centimeters and the sand shark of 192 centimeters. The grey shark was caught on live blacktail and the sand shark on a dead mullet. Ashley was using his Dawa Salters heavy and these fish were caught on the outgoing tide. Both these fish were safely released. Then Barry John Cradle shared his very first raggedy shark with us of a hundred kilograms. He said that this fish gave him a really hard time around the rocks but eventually he managed to land it on the beach. This fish was caught on a mackerel bomb bait and was safely tagged and released. Well that wraps it up for this week's ASFN News Flash. Remember to keep those catches coming to Grand Elite at ASFN.co.za and just a reminder about the Grand Elite competition and the tournament competition, be sure to get your interest in. We'll see you next week, same place, same time, goodbye.